which world will you choose? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you a thrift haul. I'm so excited. I've gone thrifting a few times in the past couple of weeks and I've accumulated a whole bunch of stuff and I really wanted to share it with you guys because I love watching thrift hauls. They give me so much inspiration for like outfits and stuff. And I did one back in the fall or like early fall, like late summer. So I thought it would be appropriate to do a winter one. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The link is in my description bar and let's just get into the video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you don't know already, most of my wardrobe is thrifted. I prefer to thrift over um, shopping retail, mainly because of the price difference. I just like I can't justify to myself like going into a store and spending like $40 on like a shirt or a sweater or something I just think it's ridiculous especially when I know that if I put the time into thrifting I will find something just as good honestly thrifting just brings me such a reward like when you're looking around and you find that one piece like that gem it's so like I don't know it just makes me so excited I also like thrifting just because I really try not to support fast fashion and I'm definitely not perfect like I do still shop retail every once in a while but I'd much rather go and buy something secondhand I know that clothes aren't just being wasted and overproduced and I would just rather like support secondhand stores and sustainable clothing as much as possible if you guys want to know more about like fast fashion and stuff like that I'm gonna leave two channels down below that I'm absolutely obsessed with where I live and Kristen Leo they're so gorgeous and amazing and funny and I love their videos and they give you such good information about the fashion industry and some really great thrift tips and things like that so I'm gonna link their channels down below they're amazing I put some wishes out to the thrift gods about really chunky sweaters I love skirts for winter as well so I really wanted to pick up some of those and I really wanted a dress for layering so I found all of those things okay so the first thing I got was from Plato's closet and I'm pretty sure almost everything I got in this haul is from Plato's closet if you don't know what Plato's closet is it's like a consignment store I guess I could call it it's basically a secondhand store but they're very picky about the things that they take and it's mostly like brand name and like expensive retail stuff so it's not like a typical like goodwill or value village or anything where it's just kind of everything at once and you kind of got to go through it like almost everything at Plato's closet is like a brand name so that's where I found most of this stuff the first thing I got was this pair of jeans from garage they're just a low waist skinny jean with the holes in the knees which I really like um, these fit me really well and I normally only like to wear high-waisted jeans but I really like to wear low-rise ones with like a crop top sometimes just to show like more of that midriff. I think it's so cute. And in the winter time, I love wearing like big baggy sweaters over these instead of leggings because it kind of changes it up. I swear in the winter, I only live in leggings anyway. But with these, with the hole in the knees, I feel like they look a little bit more like I tried or something. So these are from Garage and these are a size 5. Garage jeans are super comfortable by the way. These aren't their jeggings. I don't really like jeggings. But garage jeans are so comfortable. I've freaking love them the next thing i got was this really oversized burgundy sweater i love this sweater so much you guys it's like a really light material it's from grenadier i don't know if that's like an older brand or what but i'm pretty sure i got this from value village this looks like a value village sweater to me but it's absolutely huge it's like an extra large i think it was and the inside is like really really soft and fuzzy i don't know if you can see that the only thing I don't like about it is that because it's so fuzzy on the inside, it's like really staticky and I feel like all my arm hair is like sticking to the inside of it. So before I wear it, I always have to go over it with like one of those anti-static like dryer balls. But I really like this. I was thinking about cropping it, but I honestly just really like having a huge baggy sweater to wear, especially when it's really, really cold and I have an 8 a.m. class. Throwing this over those jeans I showed you in my winter boots. I'm just, I'm a happy camper. The next thing I got is a skirt. And almost every time I go thrifting, I pick up a skirt because I just love them. So I got this little one and I've been obsessed with wearing it with like even big oversized hoodies, like just kind of loosely tucked in. I think it looks so cute in the winter. Um, even though it's really cold out, I kind of just like suck up and put like um nylons on underneath like black ones and yeah this is a really cute one this is originally a brandy melville skirt and i did get this at plato's closet so you can see it's from brandy the next thing i got is also from plato's closet and it's this really cute turtleneck oversized sweater with like little snowflakes on the front i love this detail it's like a really nice comfy cozy sweater 
but it's not super heavy so I don't feel like I'm suffocating in it and the turtleneck's not too tight. Um, I can't find a tag on it so I have no idea where it's originally from. But I just really, really like this sweater. Again, with like black skinny jeans or leggings. This is another sweater that I got from Plato's Closet. And it's originally from Banana Republic. And this is like one store that I actually never go into like in the mall. Just because it's like expensive and I don't really get it. But it's just this really long, again, like oversized kind of knit sweater. And I was looking for one of these because I've been really into like the long loose sweaters with like the slit in the side because I don't know I just think it's like a really flattering shape and this one has that so I think this would look really good like you can dress it up you can dress it down with leggings or you can dress it up with jeans and like booties or something another sweater I honestly you guys like I was trying to find as many like thick warm sweaters as I could so that's why there's so many but this one is from Zara truffle look I don't know if that's like an off brand of Zara or what because like I normally don't shop there either but hi my camera focus but this is what the brand is called and it's this really really soft like raw cut sweater and I mean raw cut because like the hems aren't like sewn or anything if you can see like the sleeves there's no like hemming and the sleeves are really wide and the bottom of it's really wide as well and it's got like a really nice boat neck and it's so soft like I don't even know what material this is again I really like just throwing this over a pair of leggings or a pair of jeans um, I think it's so cute and like it's so soft you guys I don't even know how to explain it but like I'm really happy with this one I'm so excited again even with the skirt like with that skirt I got I think this would look so cute maybe I'll put that on in the try on part future me put that on in the try on part this sweater i actually got at value village now that i'm thinking of it and i'm pretty sure it's originally dex i think the brand is like dex jeans or whatever or dex bros it's super soft it's like a really it's like fuzzy sock material but it's like older so it's not super fuzzy anymore but it's just this black turtleneck and i love this sweater so much you guys it looks so cute with everything again with a skirt it's also really warm but because it's that like fuzzy soft material it's not like really really thick so when it's like windy like you can kind of feel the wind through it like you can probably see my nails through it you know what I mean like I don't know it's just like it's really warm but at the same time I'm not like sweating in it and I don't know I just think that this is so cute it actually reminds me of my grandmother because she used to always buy us like really fuzzy like fuzzy socks and um like fuzzy sweaters and stuff so when I saw it I was like oh my gosh she would have loved that so I grabbed it. This sweater I actually got from Plato's Closet and I was really surprised by it. Mostly I was surprised by the color because as you guys can probably tell I really only wear like black and gray and neutral colors but this one is like this brown nude color and it's originally from Wilfred so it was definitely probably expensive the first time around and I would not have bought it to be honest. I don't remember how much I got this for. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like between $10 and $15. Like everything I've purchased at Play-Dohs is usually between like $8 and $12 bucks or like $8 and $15. If something's like $20, bucks, it was really nice and I kind of splurged. But this is, um, I'm pretty sure it's cashmere. It's 100% cashmere and it's a small. Wow. So it's really, really, really soft. Like so soft. The only thing I don't like about it is it's kind of itchy on the inside. All right, guys. The piece that I'm the most excited about is actually a dress, which is funny because I like don't really wear dresses a lot either. And it's just this super billowy, like loose little baby doll dress that I got mainly for layering because I love that look that's popular right now with like the long sleeve shirt or t-shirt like underneath a dress like this. This dress was originally from Vero Moda. I don't know like what that is, if that's like some next brand or what, but I don't know what, but it reminds me of like a, a little Aritzia dress or something. So cute. I think this was like $12 or something like that. And I just love it with um, a long sleeve shirt underneath or like a big cardigan over top, like even just as is with like a big cardigan. And I'm trying it on with the cardigan and the try on, I know for sure. So this is the cardigan that I tried it on with. And I get so many questions about this freaking sweater on Instagram. I got it at Value Village when I was like in grade 10, okay? So this is like a really old thrifted piece of mine. I think it was like $2 when I got it. And it's just like an old man knit sweater. It's really good quality. Like it's lasted me for so long and I wear it all the time. 
but yeah this is the sweater I'm wearing on top of the dress if you're curious finally the last thing I got but definitely not the least are these vans I got them from Plato's and I love it when I say I want something and then the thrift gods just bless me with that item so I was telling my boyfriend literally like four days ago I was like babe I really want a pair of like classic vans I really wanted like you know the old school ones with like the line on the side and I was thinking about getting a pair and then I was at Plato's closet and I found these for $16 like I have the tag on inside still if you can see $16 like wow and they're my size they fit perfectly they're like the perfect amount of worn in so they don't look brand new but I might give them a good clean before I start wearing them but they're so cute like I'm actually so happy with these you guys you don't even know I really hope you guys like this video and I hope that I inspired you I hope that some of these outfits kind of inspired you to try out something different than what you're used to a try out skirts in the winter maybe next week's video is going to be the black seed oil video and how i use it i'm actually going to be going out to buy it tomorrow so i'll probably be sharing like what brand i got and stuff because i've been getting tons of questions about the black seed oil um and like i said in my video like i'd never tried it before so i'm going to be trying out for the first time on camera and i will be filming that for next friday so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that and turn your notifications on even though YouTube doesn't send out notifications anyway. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.